This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Recruiter Call channel where we make the call for you. And today's call is a, a suggested call. So I'm going to have to shout my guy out, man. He, 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 he dropped it in the cash app. And uh, he's he was like, yo, I want you to give these people a call, man. See what they're about. It's like, who you want me to call? He dropped it in the cash app. He's also a member. Riney, my guy, thank you very much for the uh for the for the for the coffee. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have any suggestions on who you want me to call, let me know. Let me know. Drop me something to drink. All right. All right. Let's get at it. Today, we're going to call Taylor Truck Lines out of DeKalb County, Minnesota. I like Minnesota. I mess with Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? I Ever since I hit the high hand up in Minnesota, Minnesota has been like a second home to me. I haven't been up there in a minute. I haven't been up there in a minute, but I'm about to get in it, about to get in it. So we about to go ahead and uh, jump on the line and see what Taylor Truck Lines got for us. Taylor Truck Lines, this is Natalie. How may I help you? Good morning. How you doing today, ma'am? Good, how are you? I am fine, thank you. So, me and a buddy of mine, uh, we just uh, uh, got our CDLs um, about six or seven months ago, and we're, you know, we aren't, we're with a company right now, but we're doing our research with, uh, with other companies out there. Uh, a friend of mine told me to give you guys a call to see what you guys got to offer, and by the looks of it, it looks pretty good, but I'm 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 interested in finding out a little bit more about the company, if I may. Yeah, where do you guys live? And then I can see if we're hiring in your area. Uh, well, he stayed down in Georgia, and I'm from Ohio. Okay, and where do you live? Cleveland. Well, actually, Minner, Minner. The zip okay. code is four four zero six zero, but. The Cleveland area, we we consider it Cleveland. All right, let me just check that. Um, do you did you guys go to the same CDL school? Uh, yes, yes. We both went to Tri C Trucking Academy up here in Cleveland, Ohio, up in uh Euclid. Okay, I got you. Do you know offhand how many hours you completed? Oh yeah, I yeah, I I completed over 165 hours. Same with him. Okay. All right. Sounds good. And so since you guys both graduated, you've both been driving for a company? Uh yes, yes. He he drives for a different company and I I drive for a different company. So I missed that entire I can hear you now. Yeah. So you guys have both been driving for a company, you said, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We've been, yeah, yeah we both been, we're, we're still oh. driving. So, <laughs> um, so how, okay. so how much experience do you guys require though? Um, we actually take anywhere from recent graduates on up. So, experience wise you know potentially you guys would qualify um okay how are you guys doing your home times with you guys living and complete end of the well um <laughs> what are you i guys mean doing? We, we you know right now i'm you know right now you know the little bit of information that i can get i can pass it on to him as far as far as that goes but we're trying you know we're we're trying to probably eventually you know, uh, partner up and, and, um, you know, do, you know, team driving in the foreseeable future. But as of right. Okay. But, I didn't realize. I thought you guys were already, already teaming. 
Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but this is like the foreseeable future. But any information, you know, that I get, that's why I'm, you know, that's why I'm doing the homework and everything. And I, I, I just pass it on to him. And, you know, we could come together and say, oh, okay, well, Taylor will be the one that we'll go with. You know, of course, we'll probably have to come in to do solo before we actually team up with each other, which you guys would. Is is that, or can we team up when we get there? Yeah, you could team right away if you wanted to. That's what I was thinking oh, was okay. your guys' plan, and that's why I was wondering how you guys were going to do home time with you being way up in Cleveland area and him being down in Georgia. Uh, well, we'll we'll figure it out. I mean, you know, maybe one week I'll stay down and uh, we'll we'll get home time in Georgia, and then you know maybe the following week we'll get home time up in Ohio. You know, we'll 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 figure all that. You know, we'll figure all that out uh, later down the line. Um, well, yeah, the reason why I'm asking is because the out times are different in different areas. Cleveland, you guys are going to have to stay out two weeks at a time. Okay, that's fine. And depending on where he's at in Georgia, it could, you know, potentially be the same. So, again, you know, you could have a full month to where you don't even get back to Cleveland. Okay, okay. Does that okay. make sense? Okay. Um, so, well, let me ask you this. Yeah. All right, so that's, you know, that's in the foreseeable future. So let's, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about solo drives. So do you got... So do you guys have uh have lanes that would get me home uh every week or how how would that be for solo? And do you guys run Canada? Not by the in way? Cleveland. No. Um we do, but we have select drivers that go up into that area, so it's not a requirement. Oh, okay. Um the division that's hiring out of Cleveland right now is our dry van pad wrap division. They run all 48 states, and it's 14 days out, four days home. Okay, drive in what division? I'm sorry? Pad wrap. Pad wrap, so pad. You, you'd haul pad wrap loads as well as general drive van products. What's a, what's a pad wrap? Pad wrap load is a load of furniture or fixtures, exercise equipment, uh, what our drivers do is when you get to the receiver, the receiver unloads the product and puts the big moving blankets on the floor of the trailer that the product was wrapped with. And then our drivers, once they're empty, they fold all those blankets up and it stays in the dry van trailer. And then we pay an extra hundred on those loads. Oh, okay. And that's, and that's what's available out of my area. Out of Cleveland right now, yeah, that's the only opening that we have. Okay, okay. Um, all right, if that's the case, uh, what is what's the um what's the requirement? What's the pre employment drug screening for you guys? Is it hair follicle or urine? Everyone does a urine drug screen. Okay, okay. Um now for my partner, uh He's and this is just a question. He's not in the clearinghouse, and yes, he used to smoke, but he's clean now. Uh, do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, mileage pay. Uh, what what would be the mileage pay for for that division that you mentioned to me? For yeah, for you. For you, for that division, that all 48 state, 14 out, four home, drive in, pad wrap, you'd start at 60 cents per mile. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, does, does the, does the cent per mile goes up with, with, with somebody that got more experience than I do? I mean, let's say somebody got seven years or something like that. Would they get paid more or would they come in at the same? I'm just curious. No, we have every... Yeah, everyone comes in at the same, and then we do performance-based reviews on a six-month basis. Okay, okay, awesome. Uh, what what are the equipment that I'll be driving, and do it come with a driver camera? So for trucks, we have newer Volvos and Freightliners. They all have fridges, inverters, 
Um, Bobbles have APU, Freightliners have Opsy Idol, and we do not have cameras in the trucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, one of the old school drivers that I talked to at uh, at the pilot a couple of days ago told me to make sure you ask that question about the uh, about the driver cameras. Yeah, I, I see a lot of guys do not like driver cameras. I mean, I'm driving a truck right now that has one, but the consensus of the camera is, yeah, a lot of guys don't like it. <laughs> um, okay, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's what I hear. <laughs> um, okay, so getting up to you guys, well, I already asked you about the about the uh pre-employment. Would would that be done before I get there? And how would you guys get me up there for orientation? Yep. So we either fly drivers in or we do rental cars and we have everyone do the drug test here the first day of orientation. Okay, okay. Um, I was also asked to ask this question too while I'm in doing my research. I already have my DOT card. Uh, would I have to get another one when I come up to you guys? No, no, we can use your current physical as long as it does not expire within the next 90 days. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, all right, what, what are the trucks governing that? Of course, mine is at 65, but... They're set at 67. 67? Oh, okay, is there is there anything yep. is there anything more on the cruise or not? No, nope, it's 67. All right. Um, so with this lane, uh the PAP rap lane uh here for me, uh how many miles I can average with that? You said I I need to be two weeks out. So do we get paid every two weeks or do we get paid every yeah. week? It's weekly pay here, and you should be able to average twenty five to thirty two hundred miles a week. Okay, 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 awesome, awesome. Um, what about a pet and rider uh, policy, and how young can I bring my rider? So the rider has to be eighteen years of age and older, and then it's right around twenty five dollars a month to cover the rider under insurance. Mm -hmm. um, a pet policy that we have is for dogs only. And we do have a weight restriction kind of depending, um, but it's $50 per week until you reach the $500 deposit. Aw, I got a cat. I can't bring my cat. Oh, yeah, we don't. No, we don't take cats. Sorry. Aw, I mean, I would like to bring little mittens with me. I mean, you know, he's he's here with me now. <laughs> you, you probably can hear him in the background, but yeah, he's over. Well, he's. Well, he's walking around now, but yeah, you know, all right, all right. Well, yeah, just, we do, we do not take cats. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I probably have to find somebody I can leave them with. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um. All right. So what? About, I mean, I'm I read on your on your website, and you guys offer a lot of incentives and everything. But do you guys offer uh, a a, a sign-on bonus or anything like that? Yep, we have paid orientation, and then the sign-on is a thousand dollars after 120 days. Oh, okay. So I so I don't have to wait like years to get. Well, let me ask you this: um, if I should, you know, quit or anything like that happen to me before, uh, you know, before the the amount or uh, the days is up, or after the days is up, and y'all give me the money, I quit. Or anything like that. Would y'all take that money back from me? You mean if you quit after the four months? So if you collect the sign-on bonus and quit? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we typically do require you to give notice to us. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, there, you know, potentially could be charges and based on where you left the truck. Oh, okay. Okay. When I, I, I again, like I said, I don't, I, I don't foresee anything. Um, right, right now, wonder, like I said, right now, wonder why I'm doing, you know, the research now is that me and my partner, you know, like it said, in the foreseeable future, uh, 
is planned on coming together as a as a team drives. But you know, I you know want to get the, all of the information I can because you know I could pass it on to him, and it may sound good to me, but it might not sound good to him. You see what I'm saying? So I well, and he's yeah, but he's not qualified to come on board here anyway. Oh, why why you say that? You because you told me he is in the SAP program. No, 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 no. He's not, no, no, no. He's he's not in the SAP program. I no. He he used to smoke back in the day, but he don't now. <laughs> so no, he knew. Trust me. Yeah, he, but you said you guys asked if we ex- you guys you asked if we accept SAP. So then yeah, I guess I'm confused because you well, said he used to smoke. He doesn't anymore. Do you accept SAP? Right, 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 right. I mean, I I just asked that question because it's it looks like it's the it's it's the talk about in the in the Facebook groups and everything. You know, a lot of a lot of drivers in the Facebook groups, you know, they they always ask a question about the SAP program and stuff like that. And you know, it's a topic of conversation, so I thought I'd just ask. But no, no, he's no, he's not in the SAP program. So let me make that absolute clear. He's not in the SAP program. He oh, okay. did he did smoke at one gotcha. point, but he when he was getting his license and everything, he put everything as a priority. And he knew that, you know, right. smoking, you know, smoking yeah. weed was not going to be part of the program. So so no, he's not. But why would you even tell me that? No, like, why? Like, why would you tell me that he used to smoke weed? Well, That's I ra- weird. <laughs> I, well, I rather be open and honest because a lot of, you know, a lot of recruiters, you know, that I that, a lot of recruiters that people tell me, you know, in the Facebook groups, they, you know, they not open and honest. So you know, being the new driver myself. You know, I, I, I rather, I, I'd rather be open and honest with you and so that I can get that same respect in return that, you know, you be open and honest with me about the companies because a lot of these drivers, the old school drivers that I talk to, you know, they, they say, you know, take everything what you guys say with a grain of salt. So I, I'd rather be, you know, open well, and honest. And I as well. Yeah, I hear you. Vice versa as well with drivers. I mean, we have plenty of drivers that, you know, going back to the failed drug test, have a failed drug test and try to lie about it Mm -hmm. and not put it on their application. Mm -hmm. We always have some felonies, I mean, all that stuff. So Mm -hmm. goes both ways. But I hear you. I was just curious why you would even tell me that if, I mean, if if he's never failed a drug test. (laughs) No, no, no. He... You know, he he never felt no, he he never failed a drug test. Neither well, I, I haven't smoked at all. So I'm you know, I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident my stuff is clean over here, gotcha. bro. <laughs> so but uh but yeah, I I I, I rather gotcha. I, I rather ask because you know I got like I said, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups. So, you know, I you know, I talk to a lot of people and I, I share information that I get. You know, so somebody, you know, that might be interested, you know, I'll be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I talked to them guys. Here's here's what I found out. You know what I'm saying? So I can I can pass the information along, you know. So but yeah, uh definitely, definitely yeah, good que- good question. <laughs> good question. Thank you very much. Um again. Oh, uh, no doubt, no doubt. Um, so if I want to um. Uh, further alone, what would I just need to do? Just, just keep this number and 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 call you back and 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 stuff like that, or or how would that work? Yep. So if you and or your friend are interested at any point, what you guys can do, you you said you're on the website, right? Yes, ma'am. Yep. So you can just click on the apply now in the top right corner if you do want to put in an application. Um, and then if you have questions or if you, oh, I was just 
Yep, I was just saying if if either of you are interested, you can just click on that apply now in the top right corner of the page. Awesome. You see that on the yeah. website? I don't know yeah, I, I, right I, I yeah. see it. I see it. So I can go again and just further uh further from there. All right, very good, ma'am. Well, thank you very much. Um yeah. I would get my I would get my partner on the horn, let them know that I talked to uh, talk to you, and I'll share this information in my Facebook group. And um, and yeah, uh, if it's something that you know me and him could come to grips with, you know, we'll 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 give you guys a try. Sounds good. Let us know if you have any other questions too. Okay. Hey, I appreciate the time, ma'am. Thank you. All right, Taylor Truck Lines out of Minnesota. Yeah, definitely Minnesota, DeKalb County, Minnesota. Taylor Truck Lines. Again, shout out to my guy, Ronnie. Uh, thank you for the, uh, for the cash app and the suggestion. Uh, to get Taylor truck line on the call. So, as you guys can hear, um, let me get this point out the way. They do not accept SAP drivers. So, of course, if you guys, you, you won't be able to get up in the program with Taylor truck lines. And let me let me break this down a little bit. I mean, it's important. It's important, guys, that when you get your license, your license is your career. So why mess it up with with any type of drugs? Rather, if it's if it's weed, CBD, methamphetamines. I mean, why why mess it up? Why mess it up? You know, th this is your CDL is your ticket, your golden ticket. You you should always be wary of keeping your license clean because once you get up in the industry, now don't get me wrong, there, there might not be no money for you in the beginning, but there will be money for you later down the line later down the trough, you know? And you don't want to mess that up. You don't want to mess that up. You do not want to mess that up later down the line. So if you enjoy uh, medical, uh, medical pharmaceuticals, you might want to reconsider getting your CDL because you're going to have to take a drug test when you go to school and pass as well as taking the drug test when you get with these companies. I'm just saying. Taylor, you will enjoy uh, guarantee pay. They do have guarantee pay. Now, I'm not sure how that works. I didn't ask because I didn't see it. But out of my area, if you, they got different divisions for different areas, as you, as you may know or as you heard. Uh, out of my area, which is Cleveland, they only have a pack rack uh, position that involves moving furniture, stuff like that. And what I have to do is go in there and fold up the 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 rugs that's on the floor. I guess I I don't know how that works. I you know I I I don't think I will probably be too much interested in that but if you live in a different part of this part of the world you probably might be doing something different um they do have team drive uh you can come in if you and a partner decide that y'all want to do team drive you can come in and do the teams right off the rip uh they got mileage pay per per diem they start you off at 60 cent per mile, regardless of how much of experience that you got. Uh, 
flexible home time. In my case, I have to be out for two weeks, and you have to be home. You could be home for four days. You get paid weekly, no hazmat. You got pre planned dispatch. You got a sorio pay. Trucks are governed at 68 per mile. And no cameras. No driver cameras. So if you guys want to get with a company that that y'all feel some kind of way about the camera, they don't have no cameras. They will get you up there by automobile or flight. Forget Greyhound. Okay? Forget that bus. That's how they'll get you up there. Uh, they got Volvos and Freightliners. Uh, pet policy only to a dog and is weight restricted. So you can't bring no other pets. Like I've seen truck drivers got parakeets, birds, snakes. <sighs> Jesus. It's like a whole zoo up in that damn truck. I can't see how you live in there like that. Anyway, medical, dental, vision, and insurance. Uh, 401k, holiday pay, vacation pay. Uh, they pay for orientation, and the pet policy is $25 a week till you hit that $500 threshold. You get about a thousand something dollars for orientation. Uh, it's considered, uh, I think it's considered on, I mean, um, sign on bonus, but. You only get, I think you get like, I forgot what she said, but you, you, you guys hear it in the call. Just rewind it and she'll tell you. If you guys are interested in Taylor Truck Lines, the information would be in the description below. All right. Anybody that drives for Taylor Truck Lines, let us know in the comments below how they are treating you. Is it a good company? Is it a bad company? Let us know how they're treating you. Is it worth it? Is 60 cent worth it at 68, at the truck being governed at 68? They uh, they say that they take new drivers. So is this a good starter company? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next?